Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn how to make a anti sleep system. In this system, we are making glasses, and uh, the glasses, when a driver wears the glasses, then he can prevent himself, uh, his, himself from the accident. So, in this uh, system, the circuit diagram of the system is I make this. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn how to make an anti sleep system for drivers. So, in this system, the circuit diagram which is used, I make the circuit diagram uh, in the Fritzing software. So, I will open it. The circuit diagram is here. Uh, in this circuit diagram, this is an infrared sensor. And this is a buzzer, this is LED, and this is microcontroller. And uh, uh, now I will tell you that uh, you can use any microcontroller in this project. Uh, the microcontroller which can, which have an ability to read the sensor data. So here I am using Node MCU ESP8266 microcontroller. And this is the infrared sensor. This infrared sensor will uh, sense the eye is open or closed, and uh, it will send the data to the microcontroller. And uh, the microcontroller will make a decision according to the signal, and it will make the buzzer on and uh, buzzer and LED on or off accordingly. So. This is the main connection of the sensor with the microcontroller uh, ESP8266. This is the VCC which will uh, connect it to the 3 volt of the microcontroller. And this is the ground. And this is, uh, and this is the output. The output uh, is a uh, terminal by which the, uh, the sensor will give the data to the microcontroller. And uh, we are reading this sensor through D5 digital pin of the microcontroller. And uh, we are connecting this uh, buzzer and LED with uh, a D6 a digital pin of D6 of the microcontroller. When, when the eye is closed or on, the signal will be generated through this sensor and this uh, signal will be read this uh, by this microcontroller and it will make a decision to on and off the LEDs, LED and this buzzer. And uh, here we will require a power, su power supply to power this microcontroller. This microcontroller will need 5 volt as an input. So here you can use 5 volt DC input supply. You can use a lithium ion battery or any other uh, small battery which uh, have a rating of 5 volt. You can connect this battery with these two terminals V in, it means voltage in, and G and D ground. The ground pin will be connected here, and the uh, when the V voltage input uh, plus uh, terminal will be connected here. Here this microcontroller will uh, require uh, power to run this whole process. So this microcontroller runs on 5 volt input DC power 
so here i am giving this microcontroller power through a uh, dc power supply this is a dc power supply the red is pillars and this uh, uh, yellow is a ground so this is the power supply i use a charger is a power supply which will supply 5 volt to this microcontroller but in the real project we will use a uh, lithium ion battery which will power this microcontroller and this sensor and this buzzer and this LED now we will understand the program what we upload in this microcontroller so I have written this micro uh, program in the Arduino IDE this is the program which have I, which have I already written so I will uh, I will explain how the instructions is work here so in the initial first we will define uh, pins which pins uh, we are connecting the sensor and uh, buzzer or LED so here we are using two pins one is D5 digital pin 5 and digital pin 6 and digital pin 5 is pin uh, on which we are connecting uh, infrared sensor and D6 is a pin on which we are connecting buzzer and here in the void setup we will define the pin pin modes pin modes mean we are using the pins as an input or as a output it means uh, IR sensor will uh, give the data to the microcontroller it means the on the on the pin D5 the microcontroller will read the data so that's why we are uh, defining it as an input and a buzzer pin will define output because because the buzzer will get this uh, high signal to on and uh, the microcontroller will treat this pin as a output and in the void loop this is the main program in uh, here we written in the main loop, uh, in the void loop, we are uh, making uh, conditions. In the first condi first if condition, the digital read IR pin. It means digital read. The sensor pin is read through this instruction. Digital read. It will read the data on the IR pin, and IR pin is D5 pin. And uh, this is the condition if the digital read IR pin value is a high then this condition will be run and this condition uh, is digital write it will write the uh, write the voltage on the pin as a low it means the buzzer will be low it means buzzer will be off and in the second condi else condition the digital read it will again read the pin uh, IR pin infrared pin infrared sensor uh, that if its value is low then it will make this uh, delay 1000 1000 here the delay I have uh, put here because of when the uh, normally when when driver uh, close the eyes then the then the buzzer will not uh, make noise and LED will not glow because the uh, person is normally closed eye if it uh, if the person uh, sleep then the uh, then uh, definitely the sleeping will be more than one second and it means the the eye of the driver will close more than one second so that's why it will automatically on the buzzer and led here in this project we are connecting led and buzzer with parallel so that's why the buzzer and led is connected on uh, single pin uh, d6 and in the last i uh, make a delay for one uh, one microsecond it is because of the uh, because the error is not generated in this program so that's why i make this delay so this is the program now i will upload this program to the microcontroller and if you are using uh, microcontroller then uh, you have to select accordingly here 
here um, go to the select other boards and ports and here if you are using my arduino then here you just search for arduino or you are using arduino ueno arduino mega arduino nano arduino micro accordingly you can select the name of this board and then you have to select it and uh, and if uh, now i uh, connect the uh, connect the uh, connect the uh, microcontroller to my laptop now i will connect this microcontroller with my laptop to program to upload the program in this microcontroller so this is the lead now i will connect it now this is the microcontroller we will connect this lead to uh, this port so the port is here now i will connect it now it is connected and now i will connect this to my laptop now i will upload the program in this now you can see here that microcontroller is connected to com serial port uh, com 8 so it is uh, available here and now i will select the name of this microcontroller here i am using uh, esp8266 it is a arduino uh, node mcu family so that's why i will write node mcu and as i write node it will become here that it will show here that node mcu 1.0 my microcontroller is 1.0 that's why i will connect i will select it and then i will click on okay now this microcontroller is connected to this uh, my laptop and uh, here this sign will be shown now i will upload this program to my microcontroller you have to just first verify it if verify means if there is a, any error then it will show uh, error in the verification process so here it is showing that the compiling is done it means there is no any error there is no any error compiling is done so now i will upload it now the program is uploading on serial port serial port 8 so it is uploaded 33% 41% 50% 58% and it will become a 100% then it will mean the program is uploaded successfully here it is so it is it gives a message that the done uploading it means the program is successfully uploaded so now we will see the working of this uh, project and uh, let's see the working so now i will test this anti slip system and uh, these are glasses i have made and now i will wear this uh, glasses and see the working of this project So now I have wear this uh, glasses and uh, now when I close my eyes then uh, you can analyze the working of it when I close my eyes then uh, you can uh, see the you can you can see this when and the led and the buzzer will become on
if you get this video helpful then like it share it and uh, subscribe my youtube channel and uh, if you get any now today for this and if you get the video helpful then like it share it and if you have any problem uh, in this video or uh, making this project then let me know in the comment section i will answer your question and uh, i will upload this uh, program file and uh, the circuit diagram on my github and link will be given in the description you can download the whole project from there thank you